How's it going guys? Ryan Dieger here and today I want to tell you about a program called BitTorrent Sync which works a lot like Dropbox except it's free and there's no uh, storage limit. Um, storage is limited to how much space you have in your computer. So the way it works, uh, you can automatically sync files and folders between computers using a unique passcode that BitTorrent Sync will generate. Now this is completely legal, it's not, we're not dealing with torrents or anything, all this is doing is syncing files and folders between uh, different computers and different folders. And again, it's free, so I'm going to show you how to set this up and how to get file sync between your two computers here. So once you've got it opened, you're going to have a little tab here in the top right of your uh, screen. And this is where you're going to set up the uh, files to, or files and folders that you'd like to sync. So I've already got some stuff going here, but I'm going to show you how to set up a fresh sync. So right now I've got a BitTorrent sync demo folder on my computer with um, one mp3 file in it and we're gonna sync that so I can share it with another computer so I'm gonna share it with my iMac um, so first we're gonna pick the folder that we want to sync So go to desktop the torrent sync demo and now we're gonna generate a, uh, a passcode so this is what you're gonna open up on the other computer and plug in to uh, sync it with this computer now the important thing to uh, important thing here to let you know is that BitTorrent Sync can be set up as a two-way sync or a one-way sync. So with a two-way sync, what it's going to do is keep uh, those folders as exact uh, mere replicas of it of each other. So if I were to go upstairs on my iMac and delete a file from this shared folder, it's going to delete it on this computer here as well. So some to consider uh, and just something to be a little more uh, cautious with just so you don't accidentally delete anything off uh, your second computer and unintentionally delete it off your master computer. So right now we're just going to set this one up as a master. Um, so we've got this shared secret here. So what you do is you copy, copy that uh, code and you're going to take it and open it up on the computer that you want to sync with. So we've got this file here. As you can see it's or you read that it's got the files here. I'm going to stop recording and head up to the iMac and uh, set up this sync folder from there. We're on the iMac here. Um, so we got BitTorrent Sync open already, and we're going to set up that, uh, set up our sync folder. So just open up a new folder, and you can call it whatever, but for simplicity's sake, we're going to call it BitTorrent Sync Demo. We're going to open up BitTorrent Sync on the iMac, and again, I've already got some stuff here. Um, so now, to, to set it up to share to that uh, new or the folder on your uh, iMac, all you need to do is take that uh, key that was generated on your other computer, and I just emailed it to myself. You can text it to yourself or whatever. You just paste it in there, and then choose the destination folder. We're going to set up that BitTorrent sync, <clears throat> and hit OK. And now what that should do is, there's nothing in there right now, but any minute now, it should start um, start to sync those folders, or sync those files. So, as you can see, uh, it now has that file in it. Same file that was on the computer downstairs. You can open this up. And yeah, just like that. So... Again, to recap, you can sync this with anything. As you can see right now, like I've got my Ableton, uh, Ableton file synced, my machine, or Ableton folder, my machine folder, and tractor folder synced. So what that does is, you know, any samples that I uh, load in on any, any computer, it's gonna keep all those samples or all those project files synced between uh, all my computers. So it makes it very easy to just, you know, start work on one computer and keep it going on another one. I hope this is uh, beneficial to you and uh, again, great resource for a great alternative to uh, something like Dropbox and uh, will save you a ton of money. So once again, Ryan Dieger here. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Take care.